One of the things I love the most about Astro is how simple it is on the surface and yet how complex you can go if you have more advanced needs. A good example of that is Astro's rendering options. And that's what we're gonna check out today. Hey, what's up? My name is Chris and welcome to Coding in Public. In this video, we're gonna look at the different rendering options available in Astro. And these basically fall into two categories, but then I'm also gonna talk a little bit about middleware and also about Astro Islands. So let's start by just talking about a basic Astro site. So generally speaking, if you don't change anything in Astro's default options, when a client comes and visits your site, it will request from the server, that server will send back HTML. Now, the default behavior is for this to be static. So if you're not sure what that means, let me come over here. Basically what happens is when you go and build your site, it builds everything ahead of time. So it creates these HTML files that are just then sitting on the server. So when somebody comes to your site, they come over here and the server says, oh, you want this page? Sure, and it gives you this page and this page comes over here and now they have the page. So it's very, very quick. And uh, again, it's all statically built ahead of time. Now, what that does mean though, however, is you can't like dynamically build stuff per user. So it's just a static file. They get back the static file. Everybody's getting the same static file until you rebuild the site. Now there's another option and that is called server-side rendered. So a server-side rendered site still will return HTML, but instead of having HTML sitting on the server pre-built, you have the code that will then generate the HTML for them. Now, the cool thing here is you can actually have things on the request. So for instance, you can have like a, you know, a query for like search uh, item or whatever, I don't know. And it will search that and then dynamically generate the HTML for them and spit it back. So what it's going to do is come in here and it's gonna change this to HTML as it renders it. And then you'll send this HTML back to the client. So it's still the same basic process that I showed you up top here where they get back HTML. It's just done a little bit differently where you've got a little bit more dynamicness on the server. Now, there's some advantages there, obviously, like it can be more customized. However, it usually is slightly slower. And also, sometimes you're just pre-building or rebuilding sites over and over again that could have just been pre-built. So there are two options when it comes to server-side render. But generally speaking, these are the two categories in Astro. Either statically build them ahead of time or have them server-side rendered. Now, if you think about this, what are the two kind of use cases you would have? Well, on one, you might say, hey, normally I want to server-side render them, but occasionally I might want a pre-built page. If it's not going to change much, I don't need to rebuild it every time somebody visits that page. However, you might want it the opposite side where you say, hey, you know what? I actually want most of my site statically built like this and occasionally have a route that is server-side rendered. And those are actually your two options here with server-side rendered. So without getting too complex, and I will show you the code here in a second, whenever you do a server-side rendered, whether it's defaulting to server-side rendered or defaulting to SSG with the option of server-side render, you have to have what's called an adapter. Now there are a bunch of different adapters available. And if I go to the docs and scroll down this way, you'll see that we've got Cloudflare, Dino, Netlify, Node, and Vercel right now. Now there are others that could create them, but because you need some kind of server runtime, you have to have an adapter so it can basically interact with your different routes. Okay, so with that being said, you have to have an adapter either way if you're using SSR. But they found that not everybody wants everything server-side rendered. Sometimes, again, you want things that are pre-built. So what you can do is by default, kind of the default here for server-side rendered is just say, hey, render everything on the server unless I tell you not to. How do you do that? Well, on a per route basis, you can say export const pre-render to in that front matter, and it will basically pre-render this or statically build it ahead of time. That means you could actually have an HTML page sitting on your server for just the page.astro route. Now, what they found is people started doing this and they did it for a lot of their sites. So maybe 60 or 70% of their site was statically built ahead of time and they just wanted the benefit of the server side render on a few sections. So they created a new mode called hybrid. Now, what hybrid allows you to do is basically do the opposite. So everything will build statically by default unless on a certain route you set it pre-render equal to false. So you've got a bunch of different options with Astro if you need that kind of complexity. Again, just to walk through that one more time, by default, if you don't do anything, this is what happens. When you hit npm run build or whatever your package manager is, it will actually build ahead of time and send all that HTML stuff to the server. Then when somebody requests it, they'll just get HTML back. However, if you want to server-side render it, in other words, you want some more dynamic loading as people come to certain routes, you can add an adapter, which will then allow you to server-side render either some or all of your site. If you want to do all of your site, this is the default output server, and you just don't have to ever pre-render anything. However, you can on any individual route say, hey, build this ahead of time. On the other hand, if you want it to be primarily static, but you may want a route or two that is actually server-side rendered, you can come right in here and just set pre-render to false, assuming that you set your output to hybrid. 
So these are the different rendering strategies available. Now, before we quickly look at the code for this, let me talk about two other concepts that you may need to understand when it comes to routes themselves. All right, so here we've got what's called middleware. This is fairly new in Astro, but basically there is another idea that has to do with routes, and that is this middleware concept. And basically in Astro, you can have middleware that will intercept requests. And this works with both statically generated sites or server-side rendered sites. Then what it will do is basically process whatever that kind of in-between step is, and it can inject things into the final page itself. So this middleware is kind of another way to intercept and work with routes, but it's technically different than these strategies for rendering. Now, this video is not about what middleware, so that's as much as I'm going to say. But there's also something called Astro Islands, and maybe you've heard about this as well. You say, hey, I thought you could have like React or things like that. Well, you can, but basically what happens is when you come to a, a page right here, you can see I've got some static content right here. That will be basically just plain HTML. However, I also have this right here. Now, for my sake, I'm just going to call this a React component. And you can set these different client directives. Here I have client load, which says, hey, for this interactive JavaScript component, I want you to go ahead and load all the JavaScript needed as soon as I load the page. So what happens is, let's say I'm statically generating this entire site. This is the default behavior. You could also do this with SSR as well. But as soon as this, is, this page itself is requested, the server is going to send back both the HTML and then whatever JavaScript is needed to actually run this component right here. So in other words, inside of a kind of an ocean of static content, you can have one little component here that's hydrated with JavaScript. Now, there are other directives besides client load. If I pull this down so it's now in the viewport, you're going to see that I've got this image carousel that I'm saying, hey, whenever it's visible in the client, that's when I want you to send that JavaScript. So let's say that the page HTML has already been sent. And maybe this React code has also already been sent just for this component up here. Let's set it up here just to make that clear. However, as soon as this gets in view, then I'm telling the server, go ahead and send me the React for this as well. So now I've got the React I need for both of these loaded on my page. But that's the concept of Astro Islands. In other words, you can have a mostly static page, whether that's server-side rendered or it's pre-built ahead of time, either way. And then as you need more interactivity, you can use things like React or Vue or Svelte. And obviously, some of those will be a little bit different depending on the framework you use. But generally speaking, you're going to just use a client directive to tell it when you want, what you need to be interactive with that individual component. Well, I hope that was helpful to talk through both the Astro Islands and also the middleware. Those are related to rendering, but obviously not rendering itself. So let's now look at these two different options in actual code. All right, so here I am over this way, and I'm going to go ahead and open up this astroconfig.mjs. Now, if I were to come inside here, you're going to notice, first of all, I'm just using a kind of a blank project template. And so what that means is it's using static site generation by default. So if I were to open up the terminal here locally, and if I were to do uh, pmpm -pm run build, that happens to be the package manager I'm using, it's going to pre-build all those pages and it'll put that all out here in this dist folder for me. If I come in here, you can see that I've got static routes for each of these, right? Just HTML pages that will then be sent to the, serv the server. All this will be sent to the server and that's what the server will use whenever I request a certain route. Now, if I come back over this way, remember we've got these different adapters that we can use and they've made it really easy, which is how Astro typically works here, where you can just add one like this. So let's say for instance, I wanna add Netlify. I'm using PMPM, so that's what I'll do. I'll come back over this way and just add that adapter. Now, when I add that adapter, it's gonna give me access to those two other options. So I can server-side render by default and occasionally have a pre-rendered page, or I can go the opposite way with an output of hybrid, and that will allow me to statically build the entire site and occasionally have a server-side rendered route. All right, so back over this way, it's gonna ask me a couple questions. So is it okay if it installs that? Yes, it is. Next, it's gonna actually tell me exactly what it's gonna to do to my config files in the school. So I'm gonna go ahead and do yes, and now we're set and ready to go. So now I'll simply do a pmpm run dev. Then I'm going to go ahead and shut this terminal down so we can see what it's done over here. Okay, so you can see that it's added this adapter for Netlify. And again, you can use any of the adapters available and it set the output to server. So if I come back over this way, what that means is it will be server-side rendered by default. The entire site will be. However, it will then allow me per route to set this pre-render equals to true. Now this server and this adapter, this is what enables all of that. So let's go ahead and come in here and now let's pmpm run build this once again. Okay, so now you're gonna see something a little bit different here. You'll notice I don't have any folders for my individual routes. And now I have this Netlify redirects file right here where it's telling me basically how it's going to redirect each of these things to .netlify functions entry. So this is part of that adapter that Netlify has created that basically allows you to see where each route is supposed to send you. 
Now inside here, you'll have things like the Astro CSS files, and here you can see this header link right here, but you can notice that basically all I have is the code to then basically create all these routes instead of the actual routes themselves. Now let's go ahead and come into a single route. Maybe uh, let's just come in here to pages and let's use the about route. Now remember if I come up here, I can say export const pre-render equals, now in this case, by default, nothing will be pre-rendered, but if I set this to true, now this page should be. So let's one more time run this. And you'll notice we've got a change. If I come up here, I've now got an about folder with a statically built index.html page. So again, this is everything is server-side rendered by default. However, I can pre-render a page to true if I want to. Now, if I come back into my Astro config file, we have another option. That was our hybrid option. Now, if you might remember, if I come back over here, this is where it will statically generate by default. And then on any individual route, I can say, hey, give me a server-side rendered page for that. So if I come over here, let's go ahead and go back to the about page. And for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and comment this out. Now, if I do pmpm run build, this should do the exact same thing as the default behavior for Astro, right? Because I'm saying, hey, statically build the entire thing ahead of time. So if I come over here, you're going to see I've got my blog, I've got my about, all this kind of stuff is pre-rendered my index page right here. So it does actually include this redirects file because I've got the Netlify adapter. But if I open this up, you're going to see that it's just pointing it to the index pages that I already have right here. Okay, so that's set and ready to go. Now let's actually use this here. So let me come in here. And this time I'm going to set this one to false. So in other words, I don't want an abouts folder. Let's see if I come back up here. I don't want this about folder right here. I don't want it to be pre-rendered. So again, one more time, we will go ahead and build this. And now you'll notice that I do have a blog folder and these are all statically built. I do have an index to HTML, but I do not have that about folder because it has not been pre-rendered. If I open up this redirects file, you'll see that I now am pointing to a function that will basically point it to this entry for about and generate all the code I need whenever somebody comes to visit that site. Well, I hope this was a big help in understanding how Astro works and the different options available to you for rendering. If you're interested in middleware or in those Astro islands, let me know and I'm happy to do a separate video on them. All right, well, thanks so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Happy coding.